What's that behind the rock? said the orangutan suddenly. Shh, said an elephant. I'm trying to hide. Someone's trying to steal my tusks. Why don't you come with us? whispered the panda. We can sail far away from here. So the elephant climbed in the boat too. Why do they want to steal his tusks? Well, there are poachers out there who want to kill the elephant so that they can sell its tusks on the black market. What they don't know or perhaps don't realize is that elephants do wonderful services in the forest. Let's talk to our friend Ian and he can tell us more about it. Hello. As a wildlife biologist, I have the good fortune to spend long periods of time in Africa observing gorillas and elephants just going about their business in the forest. And what interests me is the impact that has on the forest. Take forest elephants, now recognized as a separate species and, and critically endangered at that. Uh, they prune the trees, they uh, fertilize the soils with their dung, and each elephant is producing roughly one metric ton of dung every week, 52 weeks a year fertilizing, enriching the soils. And as they eat the smaller plants for food, and they trample lots of small plants, they're actually weeding the forest. They're reducing the competition for nutrients for the big trees, and then the dung fertilizes the soils so those big trees can sequester and store more carbon, about 7% more carbon in forests with elephants than without. Now, if only we could value that and use it as part of our carbon offsetting mechanism, we're paying for the ecosystem services of elephants, we're employing local people, creating jobs and rebalancing earth. So what can we do to save the elephants? Well, as Ian said, elephants do wonderful services in the forest. What we don't know or don't quite understand is how valuable those services are. So let's have a chat to our friend Ralph and he can tell us more about it. Over the last four and a half years, I've been working with scientists who show me that species such as elephants and whales help to fight climate change by sequestering large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Yet the natural world is at risk and we are facing climate calamity and together they are imposing an existential risk on humanity. Feeling the urgency, I translated the value of carbon sequestration of these species into the language that policymakers and markets could understand. You may ask why. Well, it's because when you're facing existential risk, you need everybody inside the tent communicating and working together. In the case of the forest elephants in Africa, the value of the carbon sequestration of a single elephant over its lifetime is $1.75 million. Now compare that with $40,000, the price of a tusk of a poached elephant. Beyond that, there's a paradigm that has nature at its core. When you have that paradigm, that will deliver sustained prosperity for local communities and for all countries. Brief, we stand up for nature and nature will continue to stand up for all of humanity. But if elephants are so valuable, why don't we protect them like gold or diamonds? Well, that's a very good question. And the main reason for that is that there isn't a place where if you want a market, for people to buy the valuable services that elephants do in the forest, like Ian and Ralph just mentioned. But our friend David is gonna tell us a little bit about the technology he has and how that can help us to reach that objective. Let's go have a chat with him. Hi, I'm David Rudder, CEO of leading enterprise software firm, R3. For over two decades, I have fought for environmental causes, in particular, the struggle to make clean water available to people in developing countries. I've traveled the world and seen firsthand the suffering caused by irresponsible environmental policies. But I have also seen reason for hope and believe fervently in the ability of human ingenuity to solve important climate crises. When we founded R3 six years ago, I brought with me that passionate belief in the power of innovative solutions to tackle really big problems. R3 is proud to be working with the brilliant team at Rebalance Earth as they lead a global movement to protect wildlife and enhance local communities. Their work is essential and urgent, but they can't do it alone. Being part of an ecosystem means we are stronger and more effective. We invite our partners to join forces with us as we tackle these urgent biodiversity challenges together.
and our adventure begins in the country of Gabon in Western Africa. Gabon is 88% covered by tropical rainforests. In 1990, we estimated we had 65,000 elephants. And the forest elephants of Gabon are the gardeners of the forest. They make the trails, they make the clearings, they plant seeds, they increase the productivity of the rainforest and therefore they increase the carbon stocks of the rainforest. Whilst all across forested Africa, elephants have been massacred over the last 30 years, Gabon, through its protection of the elephants, through the President Ali Bongo's efforts to preserve nature, we've actually been able to raise our forest elephant population. So working with Rebalanced Earth, we've created a nature sandbox which will give people the opportunity to invest in that increased carbon stock that the elephants are creating to enable us to better conserve the elephants and to accompany rural people and make their lives better. Join us in this incredible endeavor. So how do we get this all started? Well, it starts right here in this bedroom between the three of us and a whole lot of other people. I work with Rebalance Earth because finding a solution for climate change and valuing biodiversity is important to me. Here in Maine, the Gulf of Maine is warming faster than any body of water in the world. We need to address climate change now. Here in the Asia Pacific region, we have already lost a quarter of our endemic species. So I joined to create a movement in support of ecosystem services. In my lifetime, we've lost two thirds of all species. So I know we're running out of time. So another reason I joined Rebalance Earth is because I think it's a game-changing idea and we need those. We are trying to save keystone species which will all contribute to the wider issue of solving the climate problem. Rebalance Earth works at the golden intersection of technology and biodiversity. And I think the solution can be used to save more wildlife species in future. I joined Rebalance Earth because we need more community and nature-based solutions to protect keystone species from wildlife crime. I joined Rebalance Earth because I want to see elephants and whales in abundance in the future. Create a more sustainable way of living so that my children and my children's children don't have to witness the destruction of the natural world as we know it. And that's why I help Rebalance Earth and I'm really excited about what we've got coming for you.